So looking back, did you ever expect C++ to have such a lasting impact on programming? Well, of course not. I was just building a tool for myself and then for my friends and colleagues, and then it just spread. And one of the interesting things is we never had a marketing team or, or a marketing campaign. It, it was just spread with uh, word of mouth and uh, articles I and others wrote. It, it just spread. What opportunities and threats do you see for the future development of C++ language? Now, the control of the evolution of C++ now is in the standards committee. So I know what we're working on. It's not, not science fiction. Um, we are working on uh, better enforcement of good programming, uh, providing guarantees against certain kinds of bugs like resource leaks and memory management problems and uh, bounce errors and things like that. We, we, we know how to eliminate that and uh, have it in a way that's compatible so that you only get the enforcement if you ask for it. That's the thing I'm working on most personally. Uh, that builds on something called the C++ core guidelines, which you can get today. You just go on GitHub and ask for C++ core guidelines. And it's supported in uh, various places to some degree. Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio, uh, um, Clang Tidy, uh, JetBrains has, has some of the support for that. So, but we hope to get it into the standard and so it will be everywhere and more complete guarantee. Um, I would like to see uh, functional style pattern matching in the, the language. It would create an easier way of writing some selection and um, a better type checking than what you can get with some of the features today. I mean, you can write the stuff today, but you have to know more and it's, there's more opportunities for mistakes. And then there's work going on on a more general um, model of concurrency. It's already deployed at NVIDIA and Facebook. So again, it's not science fiction, uh, but we'd like to have it in the standard so that everybody can use it. And uh, there, there, there are other things going on, people working on a contract system. Uh, we're working on better uh, library support for coroutines. And basically, there's a lot going on. Um, one thing people should remember is that stability is a feature. You don't want to break all the old stuff. There's billions of lines of code, and a lot of it is really good code. Um, the other thing is that you shouldn't go overboard with new features. A lot of good stuff can be written with what's available today. And once something new becomes available, people tend to go a bit overboard with it and overuse it and use it in ways that it wasn't meant to be used or use it in a way that really aren't very um, reasonable. So you have to be a little bit careful with new features, learn how to use them well before you put them into production. What do you find most exciting about C++? The applications. There's some really cool stuff being done about it. In my talk, there's this slide that I always use with some uh, applications in, and there's everything from um, Mars rovers and the space telescope to, to little Lego figures. And I uh, usually have a picture of a coffee machine because, well, I like coffee. I mean, the, the old joke is that a programmer is a machine for turning caffeine into code. So um, it, 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 it is such an enormous range of things and it, it's everywhere. So people say, shouldn't you be rude about uh, JavaScript? Well, I'm not rude about languages in general, but you know, JavaScript is a C++ application. The engine is written in C++. Same with Java, same with Rust. It's, they, they depend on it. And um, 
I mean, your cell phone, probably that camera there, I can't see the model from here, but a lot of the cameras are, are programmed in C++. I've seen power supplies uh, programmed in C++. It's everywhere. And th that's exciting. That's what keeps me going. That's why I feel I'm making a contribution uh, to the world. Uh, I'm very interested in scientific and engineering applications of C++. Uh, when, when they found the uh, Higgs boson, I got an email from CERN saying, wow, thank you. I did a little bit for science. That's great. What advice would you give to the code dev community? Uh, I guess maybe my talk was the advice, but basically use C++ well. Um, try to move uh, towards modern uses. Don't use uh, raw pointers as much. Wrap them in something like a span if you want a, a, a range. Uh, basically upgrade this thing. Keep your memory management under control with constructors, destructors, things like that. Um, yeah, see the talk, read the tour of C++, the latest version. That, that's where I sort of have built in my advice. Core guidelines, you can look up and find it. It's, uh, don't, don't be stuck in the 20th century. We can do much better now.